want to begin by saying that this is not a sad thing that I want to talk to you about, but of excitement, for God is moving. I would probably cry trying to tell you this anyways, so hopefully this will be best. God had already been laying things on my heart for over a couple of weeks. I didn't fully understand why. Then on Sunday, he asked me to stand up. I told him that I wanted to show him love like that, but I didn't want to distract from how others were interacting with him, as I had been taught. He sweetly yet authoritatively encouraged me again and said, just stand up. I went to stand up, and it felt as if I had help, and then it was just me and him and everything else faded away. I asked him, why would you ask me to do that, especially me, who is afraid of others and just wants to blend in? I have not even been a part of a church since around 12 years old, nor does anyone really know me here. I also asked him, why would he have me go through all the things that I went through to come out as a person that I am, when I'm clearly not what he is asking of me? He told me that he is calling me out of my comfort zone and to be an example. I told Wes's mom this morning about Sunday. She said she was moved to tears on Sunday when she saw me stand up and explain that Arlene stood up behind me as well. So rewind now to about two weeks ago when God started laying this all out for me. He laid on my heart that though I have been away from the church for so long, he has always sent the church to me. Moments flooded back to me like, learning Jesus loves me in children's church that would stay with me while I was unloved. When I had surgery at age six and needed a hug, God sent a woman from a church to bring me my first stuffed animal, and that teddy bear was comforting to me as I felt unloved and all alone for years. I associated that bear as God's hug. I wasn't unloved or alone. When my family left the church, there was an elder who was more like a grandfather who had reached out, though my dad angrily told him to leave. The elder looked at me with caring eyes and left, an image that has stayed with me as even that moment had an impact on me. When I married into a family of Nazarenes, I didn't fit in. They made sure that I was able to continue showing love to God the way that my heart believed I should by making sure my meals were kosher without me even asking. I was accepted. When my husband was about to deploy for a year to Afghanistan, but God sent friends to walk with me through it, and they even drove me and my six-week-old son on our four-hour trip that we would have been alone. I never asked for their help, they just came. After seven months apart, Wes was able to come home for two weeks before returning back to Afghanistan. When it was time to take him back to the airport and I watched him walk away from me in his uniform and knowing that it was possibly the last time I would ever see him, I could not help but cry out the most heartbreaking of cries while holding my baby. I couldn't even move from where I was standing. People just stared at me as they walked on. Suddenly, a woman showed up at my side and wrapped her arms around me, held me for a moment, and then walked me to a bench and sat with her arm around me. She didn't speak any English, but that did not stop her from taking action. When I was living out of my car and sleeping on couches with a baby while Wes was in Afghanistan, God sent the church, Beth, to come get me and give me a home, Marianne. I was welcomed into Grace Church of the Nazarene, though I was different. Due to depression from what felt like the loss of my husband, I only came a few times, but impressions were made from those like Paula, Debbie, and Arlene that were unforgettable. Their generous love and joy moved mountains. When it came time to start preparing for Wes's homecoming and get the keys for our rental home near Fort Campbell, I stopped at a gas station. While I was pumping gas, the man that was using the other side of the pumps came over to me and said, Ma'am, are you traveling somewhere? And I told him yes. He then said, I know this is weird, but I felt led to tell you that you need to return to where you just came from. How did he even know that I had even just come from where I needed to go? I returned back to Marianne's house and told them what had happened. I am unsure of what all God saved Israel and I from, but there was a huge storm that came through. There are many other moments, such as the way that you responded to me as you heard my story. I have had others hear parts of my story and were not kind as I didn't understand. You also called me a leader when talking to me, which I still have no idea where that came from, but God was already moving me. That is why I was trying to explain to you that night at the Super Bowl party that the church is my family. It was my family even when I thought I had none, because God was revealing this to me.
Not only was that for me to see, but I am to declare and confirm to you that God sends the church.